am super excited with the amount of work gotten done on the Willys wagon so far. I feel like I'm like 95% of the way there. But on a vehicle like this, or pretty much any custom build of anything, whether it's a boat or a house or a car, it's that last 5% that feels like it takes 95% of the time. It really doesn't, but it's those tedious little pieces of minutia that just take so long. And it's where a lot of people get discouraged. And I understand, you know, there's lots of times where in the past, if I was throwing something together quick, I'd just be like, bah, it's fine. Just get it on the trail and go have some fun. But this truck, you know, I've waited so long to build it. Um, I've got an idea in my head as to how perfect it's gonna be when it's done. I really want it to be just that. So I'm gonna buckle down, I'll spend the time. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit extra, but I definitely think it's gonna be worth it in the long run because this wagon, it's probably one of the favorite vehicles I've built in a long, long time. And I'm learning a lot of new stuff along the way with all the bodywork. So I think that I owe it to the vehicle to put that time and effort into it just to make it perfect. And that's the plan. Today we're gonna go on a little bit of a field trip. We're gonna go down to the powder coater and they're gonna powder coat rock sliders, bumpers, front and rear, as well as the tube fenders. But obviously before I do that, you can tell I have to finish building this rock slider and I gotta do a little bit of welding on my body. Ain't no big deal. Easy peasy. You gotta figure out where it's gonna go first. The nice thing about this particular rock slider setup is I'm using these metal balls and mounts on the side of the rig and that's from Metal Cloak and it'll match my front fender as well as my rear tube fenders and it just makes it easy because I can remove them and put them, uh, take them off and put them on and it's really important right now because we're going to get these powder coated but I added these little additional supports right here that go in and tie into the sheet metal and the rocker but here's one thing that you have to plan ahead for if you're doing stuff like this. If I went ahead and welded in here there'd be no way for me to get in there with a grinder and clean that up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld the balls on, I'm gonna weld this joint up right here that I have, then I'm gonna break these off, weld the inside, grind them smooth, put the whole thing back up on the side of the truck, tack everything in place, and then pull it off, and then we'll weld this outside edge on the bottom, and then it's ready for powder. So with the passenger side done, it's time to build the driver's side and make it match. Once I got all the parts to vine mount fabrication, the first step was to sandblast everything. Now this does a couple things. Number one, cleans everything up. Number two, it puts a good etch onto the metal. That just gives the powder something to stick to. Then all the parts are hung on a rack using wire to ensure proper coverage on every single piece. They also spend time to make sure that any threaded holes are protected from the powder. And then it goes into the booth to get coated with that Mystic Root Beer Metal Flake.
Once coated, all the parts move from the spray booth into the oven. 10 or 15 minutes in, they pull them out to check to make sure that the powder is flowing correctly and giving good coverage on every single piece. Then it goes back in for the final bake. Then we pull it all off, load it in the truck, bring it back to the shop. So everything's now back in the shop. I've got it laid out on this moving blanket to keep it safe. I am super happy with the color of this powder coat. This is a Mystic Root Beer Brown, and they basically knocked that out of the park. Coverage is perfect, and I think it's really gonna look good on this body. It's that whole contrast look thing I'm going for, the dark brown powder coat against basically the white that the truck is gonna be. This is not the finished white this truck is gonna be. It's gonna be a little bit different, but I still want to see how good this looks against that flat white primer sealer. Oh, that looks good.